Have you ever wondered what secrets lie behind the mystical land of ancient Egypt? From powerful pharaohs to grand pyramids, Egypt's advanced civilization lasted over 3,000 years and left behind fascinating ruins and artifacts. Join me as we count down 10 incredible facts about ancient Egypt. 10. The pyramids were built by skilled workers, not slaves. Do you know the pyramids at Giza remain one of the world's greatest architectural achievements? For centuries, people believe the pyramids must have been built by slaves serving a merciless pharaoh. However, experts now agree the skilled labor of paid Egyptian workers built the pyramids. Paid workers built the pyramids on the Nile floodplain during the months when farm work was impossible. The builders were divided into groups named files that worked in shifts. Ten files made up a division, and each division worked for around three months before being replaced by a new crew. It's estimated that around 20 to 30,000 skilled workers built the pyramids by moving and placing over 2 million stone blocks with simple tools and ramps. The massive monuments were completed in less than 30 years. 9. Cats were considered sacred animals and mummified after death. Why did cats hold an important place in ancient Egypt? Cats were considered sacred animals. The African wildcat was thought to be a divine guardian of the home and domestic cats were cherished pets. The cat goddess Bastet was one of the most popular deities. She was the daughter of the sun god Ra and protected women and children. Egyptians mummified cats as offerings to Bastet. At the cemetery of cat mummies in Bini Hassan, over 300,000 cat mummies were excavated. Cats were valued for killing snakes and protecting homes from other rodents. Killing a cat was illegal in ancient Egypt. When cats died, their owners shaved off their eyebrows as a sign of grief. 8. Ramses the Great ruled ancient Egypt for over 60 years and expanded its power. One of Egypt's greatest pharaohs was Ramses II, or Ramses the Great. He ruled for 67 years from 1279 to 1213 BCE, one of the longest reigns in Egyptian history. During his rule, Ramses greatly expanded Egypt's wealth and power through military campaigns. He led expeditions into Nubia and Western Asia and defeated the Hittites at the Battle of Kadesh. Ramses built many monuments including Abu Simbel, the Ramesium Mortuary Temple, and additions to Karnak Temple. He moved Egypt's capital to Pi Ramesses in the Nile Delta. His long reign brought stability, and he outlived many of his heirs. He had over 200 wives and concubines, and over 100 children. Ramses brought Egypt to the peak of its power. 7. Egyptian women had more rights and freedoms than many ancient cultures. Unlike some ancient civilizations, Egyptian women enjoyed legal and economic rights and freedoms. While not completely equal, they could own property, inherit goods, sign contracts, initiate divorce, appear in court as plaintiffs, and work outside the home. Some women held important jobs as supervisors and administrators. Women were also religiously important and could become priestesses. Goddesses played a major role in Egyptian mythology and religion. However, most women worked in the home cooking, cleaning, raising children, and making clothing. Most jobs outside the home were held by men. Marriages were arranged by parents and polygamy was common. 6. The Egyptians used an advanced decimal system for mathematics. The ancient Egyptians had an advanced mathematical system that influenced Greek mathematics. They used a decimal system for whole numbers and a separate system for fractions. Egyptians could calculate fractions down to 1 by 101 parts. They used unit fractions rather than decimal fractions. So 1 by 3 would be written as 1 by 3, not 0 0.33. Fractions were written with the numerator above the denominator. Ancient Egyptians used math for architecture, astronomy, accounting, taxation, and measurements of time and distance. The Rhind Mathematical Papyrus from around 1650 BCE contains geometry problems and is one of the oldest mathematical texts in the world. 5. Papyrus was the first paper-like writing material invented by the Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians invented the first form of paper called papyrus. Papyrus was made from the papyrus plant that grew along the Nile. The papyrus plant stems were cut into strips, pressed, dried and glued together into sheets. Papyrus sheets were ideal writing surfaces and much more convenient than heavy clay tablets. Egyptians used papyrus for important documents, religious texts, 
mathematical treatises, stories, and other literature. Many examples still survive today, giving insight into ancient Egypt. The English word paper comes from the word papyrus. Papyrus remained the main writing material in Egypt into the 8th century CE until parchment and vellum replaced it. 4. Hieroglyphics were a complex picture writing system used for over 3,000 years. The ancient Egyptians invented one of the earliest writing systems in the world, hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics used pictures and symbols instead of an alphabet. It was a very complex system with over 1,000 hieroglyphic characters that could represent words, syllables, or sounds. The word hieroglyph comes from the Greek words for sacred writing. Hieroglyphics were carved on temple walls and other monuments and written on papyrus reeds with reed brushes and ink. Scribes were important people in ancient Egypt and were highly respected. Hieroglyphic writing was used for over 3,000 years. It slowly fell out of use in the 4th century CE when written Coptic, which uses the Greek alphabet, became the dominant written language. 3. Pharaohs were seen as gods on earth and the absolute rulers of Egypt. Ancient Egyptians believed their pharaohs were gods on earth. Pharaohs were thought to be manifestations of Egypt's official gods and granted absolute power to rule the kingdom. Regular Egyptians saw pharaohs as intermediaries between the divine and human realms. Pharaohs were deeply involved in Egyptian religion and temples were built to honor them as gods. When a pharaoh died, huge monuments and temples were built as their tombs, including the iconic pyramids. Pharaohs were mummified and surrounded by lavish grave goods, as Egyptians believed a pharaoh would become Osiris, god of the underworld, in the afterlife. 2. Ancient Egypt was divided into upper and lower kingdoms before unification. In around 3150 BCE, King Means founded the first dynasty and united Upper and Lower Egypt into one country. Before Means, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt were two separate kingdoms with their rulers and customs. Upper Egypt was south of Lower Egypt and was centered around the city of Thebes. Lower Egypt was located in the north, with its capital at Memphis. The two kingdoms had slightly different customs and gods. King Means unified the two kingdoms probably through conquest. He established his new capital city Memphis and founded the first Egyptian dynasty. From then on, ancient Egypt was ruled as one country by one pharaoh. 1. Ancient Egypt lasted over three millennia from 3150 BCE to 30 BCE. Ancient Egypt was one of the greatest and most powerful civilizations in the ancient world. It lasted for over 3,000 years, from around 3150 BCE, when King Means founded the first dynasty, to 30 BCE, when it was conquered by Rome. For most of this time, ancient Egypt was ruled by all-powerful god-kings called pharaohs. The ancient Egyptian civilization has captivated people for thousands of years, and some of its monumental pyramids, temples and mummies still survive today. Outro. So those were the top 10 facts about ancient Egypt. We hope you enjoyed this countdown of amazing facts about ancient Egypt. Let us know in the comments which fact you found most surprising. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more fascinating content.